Ah, the Western Hive. Always loyal to our queen. Hardworking as it should be. But, if you ask me, you could throw the queen in a beak thing nest and I wouldn't even lift a finger. <laughs> Who am I, you might ask? My name is Garbo, member of the Western Hive and an honest trader. Well, I was a member of the Western Hive, until they decided to expel me. And for what? Just because I was selling some not so legal goods to my fellow workers. A hive gotta make a living, right? I mean, I do have other plans now anyway, because I want to have my own hive. I want them to work for me. I want to have money, I want to have power, just give me everything. Oh, uh, and these two guys, these are my bodyguards, Brute and Giri. Not very talkative and not very smart, but they can handle themselves. And they are going to help me to reach my goal. So my friend, I'm looking at you. Are you interested in following my story? of how I became a powerful man. Hello my fellow Kenji players and welcome back to a brand new series. I've been absent for a few months now and now I've been back with the new series called Carbo's Hive. As you could hear in the background, Carbo is a little bit of, uh, how should you say, a gangster. He was a member of the Western Hive together with Brute and Giri. They got expelled from the Hive and now Carbo wants to create his own Hive, but he wants to do it in his style. So, Carbo has a few different goals. Now, before we start this playthrough, I want to welcome my subscribers back and all the people that see this. And I want to quickly go over the goals in this series and over the rules. Like I said, it's a Hive only, so I'll be only able to recruit Hivers. If you're interested in, in joining this series, please feel free and do so, because this series we will have a lot of members that will join the hive so don't be shy give me a name and tell me if you want to be a hive drone a hive or prince or a hive soldier what comes with the goals is that carbo needs to create a hive a hive with 100 members that's his first goal so 100 members and obviously make myself a base I will make myself a normal base, not, not just like the, the hive buildings, I don't really like these, but a normal base, a lot of defense, a lot of production areas, you know, heavy base building, right? And the next goal then is that I need to get 10 million cats. So in the end of the series, before I end it, I need to have 10 million, otherwise I'll not be able to end it. And the next thing is, I need 10,000 units of illegal goods. Because the main way Cabo wants to make his money is he wants to sell a little goods like hashish, alcohol, rum and all that stuff. So we are basically building a drug empire here. And if you're interested in joining us, please feel free and do so. Also, we are using the Genesis mod again and I think there is way more to explore in the Genesis mod, that's why I'm using it again. I thought about using the Blood and Sand mod, but... Uh, I decided against it, because I think we haven't seen everything the Genesis mod has to offer and I really liked the mod in my last playthrough. And also what you might see here, graphically there is a little bit of a change here and this is because I'm using the Tsuki Reshader mod and I think it looks awesome. I can add more options to it but I'm a little bit worried that my game will keep on crashing or maybe I have problems with recording because the reshader is using more memory. So we will see how this works out. I hope I can use it until I finish the series but you know as long as a playthrough goes on and you get more members and more buildings the game starts to lag out a little bit. But anyways, uh, let's head into the game. So here we go, we are currently in drag 
in the high village. <clears throat> um, excuse me, where Garbo got expelled and I think the first thing that we need to do is we need to recruit more hivers to our cause. Um, there is one big problem here because we are at, you know, a very bad place. Because this is the Fog Island, there is obedience, the Shrieking Forest, so basically everything that is around here is deadly. Let's make it a bigger here. Even everything here is just, just bad. There is nothing here and, I mean, usually if you're a human, this is a nice area for you. But since we are not, this is problematic. There is World's End here, which potentially could be used for us as an operating base. Um, we need to go through all of this though, so I'm not sure if this is the best idea. Depends. Uh, my athletic skill is not that high currently, obviously, so um, a little bit hard to tell. Mm, Brute is actually at 18 and everyone else has decent uh, athletics. It's around 40, so that's nice. Uh, Stat-wise, if you're wondering, Brute and Geary have very high toughness level and otherwise are also not that weak. Because they are bodyguards and they, they look pretty buff and they are actually pretty buff. Um, Carbo, on the other hand, is just a, you know, a small hiver. I will go with dexterity and I will train his crossbow skill and he will just stay back and shoot from behind. The main goal anyway is to keep Carbo back at the base and he just basically plays the big boss after he has recruited all of his minions and then he will just make his hive big and great and get a lot of fame and money and drugs, you name it. Okay, now, uh, I could go to the Arm of Ocran and to World's End, but where do I go from here? I mean, the Great Desert isn't that far away from here, so I could make it to the United City Lands. Although, mm, it's hard to tell. I would love to go to the swamp, but every time I go to the swamp, my game starts lagging. And that's not what I want to have. Especially not while recording. Hmm. I think I know where to go. I will go down here, and along the villages of the Hivers, and into the border zone. And from the border zone, there should be more cities around here. I mean, I know that there is at least one city in here, but usually there are some free traders stuff here. I don't know. Well, I guess we find out right now. But yeah, let's head down there and let's hope that we don't run into a big thing nest or something else. And also one more thing is that I have installed a mod that adds these raptors to the game, these fog fiends. And while we add it, let's loot them. Also, I do need some food on the way. Thankfully, we are hivers, which makes this a little bit easier. And there should also be a nomad here. Nomads. Can I buy from you, sir? The question is, where is he? I saw a nomad running around and I could talk to him. Because maybe we can buy a pack animal. The question is, do we even need a pack animal at the start? I guess we don't really need a pack animal at the moment. Oh, let's go down. First let's head to the settlement. This settlement, by the way, could be a nomad settlement. Because I know that there are some nomads around here too. Always gotta keep an eye out. Antelopes should not be aggressive. They look pretty cool though. Uh, I'm not quite sure if this is from the mod that I installed now or if the new Genesis mod added these ones. So, maybe you know it. Just let me know in the comments. Oh, by the way, talking about comments. Um, feel free to drop some comments and, uh, you know, if you want to join me on this journey, I would love to see you. Just give me your name, maybe a little bit of a backstory, so that makes it a little bit easier to add your character. And, yeah. The subscribers to my channel already know how the drill goes. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you just stop by here and if you're interested in following me 
maybe hit the subscribe button, notify the bell, that's how you can keep in touch. And we are already getting attacked by... Yep, by the Fogman. But they... Okay, I guess they found another target. I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna get my athletics up. So I can at least outrun the Fogmans. I mean, outrunning big things isn't really a thing I can do. So that's... Uh, what the hell is that settlement here? Refugees, okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. I didn't notice. This is around here. The Shadows mod is awesome. Always adds new things. Oh, this is a headquarter. Not just a human hoop. A commune hoop. Not common hoop. Oh, it is a bar. I thought so. It just looks like they're... Ooh, I think we just found our first recruit here. Oh... Uh, Yeah, it looks like it. Let's see. You must be looking to recruit fellow treasure hunters. Not really for out for treasure, but whatever. Uh, am I right? Can I join you for the usual price? 3,000 cats. Sure, let's go. I guess we're gonna have a new member very early on. But I like it. Um, for the time being, we're gonna keep his name. Paste is a pretty nice name. Uh, we can change his appearance a little bit, I guess, but do we really need to? I guess we could keep it like that, or maybe even some different stance. I'm not trying to give you the stance that Carbo already has. Maybe this one. <laughs> or maybe this one, the, the squatting face. You know what? We're gonna go with this one. I never had a guy looking like this. <laughs> oh my. Uh, Hi there, travelers. We don't get too many visitors around here, and we'd like to keep it that way. What's your business? Oh, well, I guess I gotta just ask him what is this place? Sounds like a reasonable answer. It's not much, but if you squint, you can see what it can become. Okay. We're building a sanctuary for everyone fleeing the Iron Fist of the so-called Holy Nation. Oh well, that's good, because we are against the Holy Nation too. Most of us here were once slaves who managed to escape our re-education at Rebirth. Okay, so escaped slaves. And the Holy Nation have not found you. We are shielded by the Fog Island and the Floodlands. So far we remain undiscovered. But there are still so many more escaped slaves, still scattered throughout the hills, hungry, alone and desperate. It is hard for us to remain hidden, yet send out the word that we offer sanctuary here. Mm, I've been jumped by the packs of escaped slaves in the border zone or somewhere. I think I saw some camp out there. I mean, neither. But let's go with the second one. Some who we find and come out here can't get used to the walls. They prefer to camp out under the stars. They've grown too used to it. The ones around here are part of our extended community. I've been shunned by the packs of the escaped slave in the border zone or somewhere. Go easy on them. We are here. Ah, uh, we here are all once in the same hopeless situation. The fear, the hunger, the hopelessness. And not everyone who flees alienation is doing so f so for a better life. Okay, sorry. I don't have my glasses in. I'm currently not able to wear my contact lenses. Notifier, by the way. And that's why it's a little bit of hard for me to read here. It's it's usually also hard for me to read because I, I tend to make mistakes, but today it's even harder. So bear with me here. So sorry. Some are just run off the mill bri brigands. Look, it would help us if you could spread the word for these refugees out there. Okay. How do we do that? They're not going to trust me. 
There's a secret sign used by the slaves in Rebirth. I only hope it's still used. His eye is blind. Say this to them and it will get their attention. Will you do this for me? Let's roleplay this. We are not bad by nature. And maybe we can make some money of this. I would love a third option where I can actually ask for money, but it's not here. This sounds a little bit too rude. But... We're thinking profit-wise here, so maybe Cowboy's thinking that he can make some money of this. So he's saying, sure, I'm happy to help. Or maybe he's saying it a little bit sarcastic. Sure, I'm happy to help. Well, we'll see. Oh, we allied with them now. <laughs> I don't know why, but I really like these eyes. Come on, look how cute he looks. You could be the second beep, my friend. Um... So we allied with them now. Uh, that is pretty nice. I didn't intend to do so, but... I mean, I'm not... not not unhappy about it either. So let's see what we can buy here. Uh, some hashish. It's not bad for the start. I could smuggle that into the United Cities, but that does say it takes some time for me to get there. Uh, for the time being... Well, my food is very expensive here. I'm gonna make sure that everything is just... Yeah, I would buy the more, more expensive stuff, but we are kind of running, running low on money. And... I wanna buy this guy here some armor. So he's not completely helpless. Yeah, I guess it's about like this. Alright. You know what, I'm actually gonna wait for this shop to open. And maybe we can buy a, a crossbow here. Oh, what's going on here? Ooh. Oh my. The damage. Uh, I guess we need to help them. But this could be problematic, man. Oh, their stats are pretty high. Wait, are they all getting slaughtered by these hyenas? I guess they are. Oh, what's the damage they're doing? Oh my god. Okay. I'm not sure if this comes with the add-on I installed, but I don't think so. I think the hyenas were already in the game. Uh, you know what, Brute? You're gonna attack it. Oh, oh my. Don't wanna... Oh, there we go. Yep, yeah, get some hits in. Let's get back here. Oh, we got attacked there. To split this up a little bit here. Oh, first one got down. Oh, my first combat. We're gonna just take everything here because we need the money at the start. Brute just got hit pretty bad, and also Carbo is on critical. Let's attack them from behind. Oh, great job, Geary. Oh, Paste, you should not get hit. Oh, there we go, he went down. <laughs> That's what I meant. Oh, no, don't attack Carbo. Oh, this is intense, already intense. No, don't, don't attack Paste. Come on, oh. <laughs> and we already lost someone. Uh, not lost someone, but he just lost his leg. God damn it. I'm gonna make sure that Carbo's not losing anything here. And down he goes. Let's get... But I just saw that they get, they have prosthetics here, right? So, um, what we are going to do now, we are going to... Pick up Carbo, and they're gonna pick up Paste. Uh, I hope they do have some bandages in here. Not 100% sure about it. Gotta check this out. Yeah. Oh. 
Uh, that's not so good. They don't have bandages here. Uh, it's a little bit problematic right now. Is there a bandage here? I could steal. Oh, oh, they're healing me. Oh, that's great. They're healing me. Oh, nice. Nice, 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 nice. They're healing me up. That's awesome. So we're gonna put um, Carbo into bed. And did they also heal? They did not heal Paste. Can we please heal Paste? Yeah. I guess we cannot. Alright, the Hyannis is still going. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. This is problematic. I don't think they can survive this. The Hyannis are crushing everything around here. Uh, and now there are also starving bandits joining in. Oh, I mean, at least they are fighting. Hmm. Oh, looks like <laughs> looks like our allies are already dead. Oh no! I mean, who, wait, who is this guy? Who was the boss? Oh wait, they oh they have very high stats. Wait, Giri, do me a favor, bring them into here. Have they already left? They're all dying. That's not good. There's some starving bandits here, so I can take off their stuff. There we go. Like this, Geary. Uh, camera movement is a little bit scuffed here right now. We're gonna bring them over here. Come on. We're gonna bring them in here. No, Brood, you stay behind. Don't come in. Carbo, you also stay down. God damn it. Just lie down in bed here. Do me that favor. Brute Geary, you come in here. Carbo, stay down. But they're already shooting. Come on, come in here. But they're not coming in. Uh, I'm not sure if they're not able to come into the building. It doesn't look like it. Damn you. That's how we do it. Yeah, down you go. And yeah, we're gonna take off your, all this stuff. Come here. Great. Okay, we really need to help Paste. But we don't have a mad kit, and sadly, they're not healing him. Oh, it's because I recruited them, right? Uh, usually, when I reload the game, they should heal him. And I'm just trying this out right now, okay? They do have lags here. Although not that good, but I mean, better than nothing. Even affordable at that. That was his left leg. There we go. And he's able to move again. <laughs> oh, oh, great. Great, great, great. Okay, um, I'm gonna quickly reload the game. And hope this helps. Okay, uh, let's see if this helps. Okay, they are still not treating him. That's bad. Although it's getting daytime, and I do hope that this shop here has something for me to buy. And there is a... Nomads, great. They can help me. Are they allied? Are they healing them? No, they're not. Hmm. 
maybe they can get rid of the dogs. Nope, they're leaving again. Or maybe not. I think they just bucked out. I think they're trying to help them, but I'm, I'm not really sure what they're currently doing. Oh yeah, he's healing him, okay. They're actually allies. And someone just... Uh, okay, they healed Pace up. Looks like it worked. I'm gonna put him into bed here. And the shop is open. There we go. What can we buy here? Show me your goods. Oh, there we go. I was just <laughs> about to say, what are you kidding me? There is no mad kid around here. But there is. Hmm. These guys are really weak. So let's select everyone and put them on medic. Uh, we gotta wait this out a little bit until Carbo is full health. Or at least like at 50 or 60, so he can outrun any danger that comes to him. And... Yeah. A lot of the refugees died at the assault. Hmm, wait, what's that? Scratched you? Okay, looks like you can use this as a weapon, but I mean, I'll take it. I'm just checking if there's another hiver I can recruit, but so far, no, there's no one here. Mm, there's even some resource here. Uh, what's, what's that? Iron. Okay. Some iron resource. Not that we really need it right now. I'm gonna give the scratch sheep to Carbo. I mean, I still think that he should use a normal crossbow, but sadly there's no one for sale here. And it looks like we are good to go, and I'm gonna pick up Pace because he's still unconscious. I'm gonna make my way down south. But first, uh, I wanna check... Uh, wait, where was it? Wait, I'm a stupid... Oh, down here. There are some buildings here. I wanna check these out. Why is the encumbrance so high? Because of this? That only has 15 kilograms, but okay. I guess then we need to sell this one. It's still kind of encumbered here. And I think... Uh, Geary has high athletics and higher strength. Yeah, he does. So, he's gonna pick him up. Just look at the rally on Geary here. A village. What kind of village is this? Uh, nomads. No, that cat. Okay. Oh. Uh. Alright. Okay. Just some buildings here. Nothing crazy. Gathered village. Oh, gather village. Never mind. Settler nomad village. Oh, there's a village over here too. So we gotta check out this village. Just maybe there's something uh, where we can buy some uh, crossbows. I'm gonna get. Uh, I think I'm gonna get Paste a crossbow too, so Paste and Carbo will have the crossbows and Brood and Geary will tank this. We can also I mean, put them on block too. Oh, we are getting followed by what seems to be a Fogman. Uh, let's... Let's... 
What's this athletics? 18. The brute has also 18. Boom, there we go. Nearly knocked him out with one hit. Mm, some more bad cats. This one is close here though, so I'm not sure if I can get in there. Doesn't look like it, but it's just some normal buildings. And there's a settler village over there too. Hmm. Oh, cannibals, never mind. We don't want to run into them. I guess I really need to get out of this zone. Uh, I guess just an animal shop, yep. I thought so. Alright, let's get back to Sanctuary and then let's head down south. Follow Geary here. I'm so used for my last let's play that you just uh, have so much strength that you don't really need to care about carrying someone around, but I guess what I'm wearing here also has some kilograms. I mean, it's uh, 6, 11, 13, 22, I guess so, 22 kilograms just from the gear I'm wearing and then I'm also wearing paste. I think paste should be able to run on his own right now. The question is, how fast is he? Is we're going to find out right now. Yeah, that's what I thought. He is pretty slow. So, uh, Giri, you're gonna take him with you. At least we can use him in battle. It's at least one good thing. Oh no. It's just one hyena. Oh my god. Cabo nearly just got killed there. I'm gonna need to put pace down. Uh gonna make sure I'm healing. Yeah, I gotta make this smart. Um, Paste, you're gonna heal Carbo and Brood. You're gonna help him. Because he's getting numb to death there. Oh, don't run into them. Damn it. Just a few more hits. Come on. Come on. Let's do this. Don't don't go down now. Come on. Oh no. This is bad. This is quite bad. We just need one more hit on the chest and it's done. Or at least Carbo is saved here. And he's just patrolling around. Okay. As long as no cannibals are coming around here, we should be fine. Brute just stood up. <laughs> Who's that? A hyena again. Okay, I'm gonna put myself on sneak. I'm gonna heal myself. You don't have a medkit. Okay, paste. 
Uh... Oh, some refugees here. Can I talk to them? I think I can. Let me guess, this ends with you relieving me of my coin purse. I'm just a friend, there's a sanctuary for you in, in Drag, near the west coast. Lies. Take a chance, I'm not lying. Okay, looks like we brought them back over. I mean, I thought they were going to help me, but I did not. Now, let's help Geary up here. Good thing we just got knocked down <laughs> right next to the sanctuary, otherwise it would have ended really badly. Oh my god, what is going on here? Not the hyenas again. No. He's got damn hyenas. Don't have a mad kid. Okay, look, we need to go back there, because like this I won't be able to do anything. And I should not run into the starving bandits right now. Because they are not friendly towards me. Oh, god damn it. Look, that's what I meant. I do hope they're going to help me. But I'm pretty sure they're not. Oh, there actually are. Great. So... Giri is still trying to fight here. Now they are pretty skilled, so they should be able to take me on. Oh, I should be able to take them on. That's what I meant. Oh man, it's already so chaotic. Kenji, never change. Okay, while they're fighting here, I'm gonna pick up Giri. I mean Carbo. I'm gonna bring him back to base. Oh, Paste is dying. I'm not sure if I can save Paste. I don't think I can. He will die. Yep, Paste is going to die. I'm really sorry about this one. And Giri just got... <laughs> Giri just lost his leg because I didn't pay attention. Yeah, Paste is dead. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh man, the game is already so... Crazy. Oh, there we go. Yeah, no, I can't wear this item. Already. Okay, the first character recruited is already dead. Yeah, we need to get out of the zone. This is a little bit too much. I guess. At least Giri is getting healed here. He lost his left arm. Uh, since he has a katana, he can use it with one arm, which is not that bad. But I need to find a replacement very soon. Yeah, thank you for healing me, my friend. Means a lot to me. So I need to get some bandages to heal Carbo. Oh, there's a big bandage here. That's great. That is great. With the big one, I can make more stuff happen. Uh, let's put him back in the bed. Uh, oh, looks like someone just healed me up. Never mind then. And let's put him back into the bed too. Let's 
or fighting the starving bandits, I guess. Yeah. Oh, this guy has a name. That means he should have some special loot on him. Okay, never mind. There's some stuff I can sell here. An economy arm. I could buy him this arm, but I'm not sure if this is even worth it, to be honest. I'm not really sure about that one. That is worth like 200 cats. I'm going to take it. So, <laughs> now that was a really great first episode, I can tell you that much. And I think it's about time we're ending it, because uh, I've been recording for quite some time already. And now I'm going to cut the video a little bit down, and then I'm going to do some stuff off-screen. I will keep the off-screen stuff like I did in the last series. Uh, this time around I will do a little bit of a recap every episode. For example, you can see me talking in Carbo's voice. With with that voice, uh, you know. Uh, well, it was a little bit of a different voice, but y you know what I mean. It's uh, like I have to get into character to do it great. Otherwise, guys, uh, I want to thank you for watching. And I hope you do enjoy my series, um, Carbo's Hive. Like I said, if you're interested in joining, please let me know in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.